question. Hey, Kevin, looking to do East Coast Watercross IGSBA next year. I'm noticing a lot of racers have racing mentors or coaches that help train them. How do I find one? Got any free time? <laughs> you don't want any advice from me. <laughs> you don't want any advice from me. I mean, I could give you some advice, but my advice ain't worth shit. Um, the problem is, is that the community of racing is incredibly small and everyone has rubbed everyone the wrong way. Everyone's burned a bridge. Racers are notorious for burning bridges. So the minute that you hitch up with some guy, you inherit all of his crap. I'm not lying. Okay. And that, it just sucks. It's like, oh, hey, Kevin went and hung out with Brian Baldwin and rode his 85 mile an hour national championship winning ski. Would you like to know the hate mail I got? Because people don't like Brian. Okay, well, I'm going to meet up with Arminio Tosca and I'm going to ride his ski and we're going to do an interview with Arminio. Oh, you know what? Oh, the bridges that guy's burned. Oh, that guy. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, I'll hang out with Eric Legopoulos. Oh, Eric. Oh, dude. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, I'm going to go visit Chris McCluggage at his to quest the store. Oh, Chris McCluggage. Rah, rah, rah. I'm like, dude, I'm so sick and tired of hearing you're complaining. You guys, I mean, honestly, honestly, the complaining I hear from people, it's just ridiculous. It's like, is your life so pathetic that you have to go to a YouTube channel and bitch about jet skis and that I don't like the same jet ski you like? Dude, go pound sand. Seriously. <laughs> All right, and uh, Mikey's got a second question. I got to answer that too. Question number two, Yamaha FX Hall, spider cracking on the keel before the intake grate. Totally, totally common. A after I clear coated it, yes. I want to pull gel coat. I want to put gel coat on the bottom. Will it change the way it rides? No. Um, <sighs> What's happening is that if you're looking at racing, Mikey, you're you're the kind of guy who's putting a lot of stress on the Nano 2 hull. All right. Now, they reinforced the intake grate bolt mounts on the inside. So the bosses, the fiberglass bosses on the inside have been reinforced. It's thicker. All right. But it's still, the integrate is still pulling down and trying to separate from the hull. So it's still flexing and it's still pulling on that. And you still have that eggshell paint and that eggshell paint is going to start cracking. Now you've gel coated it. So effectively what you've done is that you've put resin on a, you ever seen like really old oil paintings. And if you zoom in on like, you know, the Mona Lisa, you'll see all this cracking and all of these, the spider webbing. Well, they've, they put, I don't want to say clear coat, but they have put sealant on a lot of these paintings that won't allow the cracks to spread and the gaps to widen. That's effectively what you've done with your paint job. So it'd be completely spiderwebbed from head to toe, but you're not going to have the fissuring. You're not going to have the spreading. It's just going to have stress cracks all all up and down the damn thing because Yamaha keeps painting their painting their skis using automotive paint and they don't have a really good flex additive in it. So that's what they keep doing. The clear coat is to keep it from exacerbating. It's to keep it from spreading, and then as it spreads, it lets water in. Water intrudes. It starts to peel away, and then you peel it all off, and then you delaminate your ski. Does that make sense? Have I lost you? Okay. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, Thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.